Great to have you here, Dr. Lehman. Great to be here, Governor Mike. You've written so many fantastic books, but this one is specifically about couples trying to, to go the distance. Why oh, yeah. is that so hard for couples, especially in this culture today? Well, because we're so self-centered, number one. I mean, I've been married 52 years in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a train, I'm a train seal. I see a fish and I, ur, ur. <laughs> you know, men and women are different. Really? Okay. Profound state. I have never noticed that right. in my 45 years of marriage. And uh, I can still see my bride, tall, five foot, nine inch, pretty lady, and then some walking down the aisle with those little bouquet of flowers. And I didn't realize that after we were married that there was a rule book underneath there. <laughs> and uh, she's the firstborn, so she's got a lot of rules, okay? And I'm the baby, and I've avoided rules most of my life. <laughs> And whoever said differences attract are right. So men are weird. Uh, women are strange. Uh, you can do it the other way. Women are weird and men are strange. But we're just different. And we have different needs. A need for a man, needed, wanted, fulfillment. Women, affection, <laughs> affection, communication. What are us men intuitively not real great at? Communication. Hmm. So men need to listen to their women in their lives, okay, without judgment. And that's hard for a lot of us as men. So, What do you mean by without judgment? Listening, well, just what? The critical eye. Uh -huh. You know, uh, men like the USA Today version, okay? <laughs> Brief, quick, yeah. condensed. Women are just so different. They're so relational. They hug anything that moves. <laughs> <laughs> they go potty in groups of eight, 10, and 12. <laughs> it's a social event. Anybody want to go potty? I'm going. Come on. <laughs> yeah, if men ever did that at the restaurant table, you'd never, ever go eat with them again. Would, ever. You, would you ever say that to me? Hey, Lehman, I'm going to go to John. Want to come with me? <laughs> no. And the only thing would be worse that if you did, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so, uh, again, I go back to God had a great sense of humor. And I think. He made it that way so we would really have to work hard at understanding this woman. I mean, mm -hmm. here's an old commercial. You're in good hands with Allstate. Allstate. Yeah. That's been around since I was a little kid and I'm near death. <laughs> but, but that's how women want to feel. So men have to listen. And sometimes they start at A and run all the way to Z. And most men would sort of like A-L-Z. <laughs> Just tell me what happened, you know? So. Getting behind each other's eyes and seeing how they see life. I mean, I talk about my firstborn beautiful wife, but can I mention the word foreplay on Huckabee? You just did. Oh, I did, didn't yeah, I? You just did. Well, in my home, yeah. foreplay is uh, clean the kitchen, <laughs> pick up after yourself, make sure you wipe off the counters fully, and check this out. Put the toaster away. You just ruined the whole idea of that word for every man watching the show right now. You do know that. You're right. But my point is, is whatever your wife, what's ever going on behind her eyes, that's our job. You want to be a good leader. You yeah. got to know who you're leading. And by the way, you're a married man. If, this is just a tip. Yeah. Okay. I know we're on the air, but just yeah. a personal tip. All right. You're driving with your wife, Janet. Uh huh. And she turns to you and says, uh, do you want to stop for ice cream? <laughs> Let me tell you something, Governor. <laughs> She is not asking a question. <laughs> you think? Really? Yeah. Man, no wonder you've been married 52 years, uh, Kevin. Yeah, in a row. <laughs> <laughs> but is it ever too late for couples to begin working on connecting? But it gets back to servicing each other. You have to realize that fighting's an act of cooperation. If you're fighting with your spouse, you know exactly what to say to escalate the battle. I call it spitting in each other's soup. Oh no, honey, you go ahead and play golf and I'll just stay home here uh, with your mother. <laughs> I mean, everybody's laughing because we've all known those kind of moments. We have, but so you have to put down the weapons and understand that God has ordained this thing. It ought to work. Yeah. It ought to work. It's supposed to work, isn't it? It's supposed to work. So is there a kind of a one big moment are one big lesson for men and one big lesson for women in all of this? Yeah, I'd say, ladies, don't put a skirt on your husband. 
he is not your girlfriend. Hmm. <laughs> you, you use three and a half times the number of words, ladies, that he does. He specializes in arm's length relationship. But trust me, there's not a man here that wants an arm's length relationship with his bride. He wants intimacy. He wants closeness. He wants to know that he's really wanted by that woman. That'll drive a man. I mean, we're weird. I mean, men are able to watch two ball games simultaneously, eating a pizza in their boxer shorts, uh, belching. Yes, <laughs> ladies, this is your gift from God. So realize, yeah. realize the differences that exist between men and women. And I think praying together, you wanna know what's going on in your bride's mm. mind? Pray audibly, listen. Mm. Very few couples do that. We, the intimate connection is the title of the book, but most couples don't have the intimate connection. Mm. They live a married singles lifestyle. Wow. Yeah, so it's, it's, I'd love to tell you the state of marriage is great, but it's not. You get married today, statistically seven years later, you're done, stick a fork in you. That's why your book is so important and your message, The Intimate Connection, so very important. You can find this book, The Intimate Connection, as well as all of Dr. Kevin Lehman's other books online at drlehman.com. It's also available at birtorderguide.com. You can check out his free podcast as well. Follow him on Facebook at Dr. Kevin Lehman, also on Twitter at Dr. Lehman.